It hasn't been long at all since we last talked about DLC 4, which, though not really having much information on it at the time, might seem like a weird thing to say that we're back at it talking again. But that said, only 48 hours ago, we ended up putting up a video asking when would DLC 4 come out, to which we detailed and discussed a little theory I have in my head where I'm saying probably around August 28th, maybe September 4th, we end up seeing that. But while discussing it, we actually do have a stroke of good fortune that gives us a little more information about DLC 4 that happened earlier in the day. It's since been taken down, but we did get that information and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about it here with this one. So today we're going to be talking about a little bit of a leak that happened in regards to DLC 4, then a little bit about the maps themselves and general expectations overall potentially. But that said, let's just jump right into it. So when we talk about leaks, a lot of the times leaks come from third parties, sometimes PlayStation, sometimes Xbox, where like trophies and things get released where they're put up on their network and then people can end up making inferences off of what they end up showcasing. So we always see that the zombies trophies and achievements, all that get leaked by Sony and Microsoft. We end up always seeing the map names out of that, some of the wonder weapons and other general achievements in there as well, because those sort of things really only pertain to zombies. Other things though, we end up seeing have leaked because PlayStation and Xbox have gone a little early with things have been actually the overall map pack names. But this time it's a little bit different because it wasn't any third party source that leaked anything, it actually came straight from Activision. Now, this comes from their blog over on the Activision website, to which they do a lot of different information and talks about the map packs and everything coming up, expansions, the game itself, some helpful tips, all kinds of stuff that just gives somebody that wants to read about Call of Duty something to read. But that said, they ended up making a blog post go live a little bit earlier than they normally should have. And as I just mentioned, it was something that was subsequently taken down and was only up for about maybe an hour or two hours time, but that didn't stop everybody from seeing it at that point. So we know what this ended up saying. So with that post, we end up seeing a couple of different things given to us. Firstly, we know that zombies was the first thing detailed and that's what this whole post focused on. It was a little bit of an introduction to the fourth and final installment of the zombie DLC, but that map being called Frozen Dawn. They also end up giving us the overall map pack name, that being called Shadow War. So the detail of this DLC for Frozen Dawn zombies map says their Zeppelin crashed and now they've found themselves isolated in Antarctica amid the burning wreckage of the airship. To defeat the undead evil overcoming the world in waves, they must confront it at the source and ascend into the lost city of Thule, an underworld maze filled with frozen subterranean levels and candlelit chambers. This is Call of Duty World War II DLC Pack 4, Shadow War's latest and final Nazi zombies mission, The Frozen Dawn. As Olivia and co. wind deeper underground, further from General Rodeau, their allies and the unforgiving light of day, they battle endless undead, uncover well-concealed easter eggs, and become acquainted with the most maddening, twisted, multi-leveled Nazi zombies map ever. But there is a small relief. As the Frozen Dawn will take an extra measure of grit and dedication to beat, General Rodeau provided a slew of new weapon upgrades and consumables to give you and your team the upper hand. Read on to see what's new, then lock and load for the tense conclusion to this undead saga. They end up going on to say a little bit further that there is a new Void Sizzler zombie, a multi-spiked enemy that will attack other zombies before attacking you. But the catch with this one is that every normal zombie that he eliminates before getting to you actually makes him stronger. So if you are a Zombies fan or not, still doesn't matter. This sounds absolutely intense as ever, and I can't wait to actually get my hands on this if this is how everything turns out. I'm assuming once again it will because this came directly from the Activision website, but it still is crazy to think about. Crazy cool that is. So that was Zombies. That was the big thing detailed out of this entire post. There wasn't anything focused on multiplayer out of this. And so maybe we end up having our own dedicated blog post to that at some point, but probably not now. They're probably definitely looking at every single scheduled post and going in through with a comb and making sure everything doesn't leak out again so that everything is scheduled for when they're supposed to go live. But that was something that we ended up getting, of course, some information on Zombies. We got the map pack name at Shadow War. We ended up getting Frozen Dawn as the Zombies map name as well. So there's a big chunk of information already out there. But what about the other stuff? Because while we do still have a lot on that, it's not really a lot of information that, say, you might watch. I know that I don't cover Zombies a lot on here. I'm still a big fan of the storyline they've done with World War II. But with me not putting up Zombies content, really, you guys might not be all that interested in it. So what about multiplayer? Because you guys probably want to know about that as well. While we don't directly have anything 
given from this post on the official Activision website, there is somebody by the name of PredGFX who claims to have data mined some information about DLC4's multiplayer maps, to which we end up seeing those map names may be Airship, Fuhrer Bunker, and Tank Graveyard. Those are probably just the console code names in the game files that we see of those maps. Those probably won't be the actual final build names, but with that being attached to the DLC4 underscore and then their name, that is something that does make it sound a little more plausible. I would love to see something if we take a battle to an airborne Zeppelin, as Airship may suggest. Fuhrer Bunker might be the very end, the tail end of the war, and Tank Graveyard might be something that it's literally a graveyard for tanks, something that is a sort of scrapyard or wasteland, maybe a remake there, for tanks. That'd be super cool to see all that kind of stuff come into play and what this might mean for the maps themselves. But again, that's the multiplayer stuff that was listed. He also claims to have data mined the war operation as well, claiming that one is called DLC4 underscore raid. Don't get your hopes up for that one just yet being a raid remake. I can't imagine that raid the map from Black Ops 2 would be coming back into World War 2, plus also in the form of a war map. Seems highly unlikely, but it's a very vague and general statement, so we don't know if that's actually the case. And again, with all these other names that were just mentioned, take it with a grain of salt, because while this may very well be legit, I'm more so one to enjoy being on the cautious side, and we haven't seen an update to the game in a little bit of time. And while I don't want to praise it prematurely because it does seem rather legit in the way that everything is formatted, I also don't want to write it off just yet because we haven't seen anything just yet, no real update as of recently and everything like that. So just take it with a grain of salt. That's something that is on the table, but not confirmed. One other thing to bear in mind is that, like we said from the very beginning of this, the Activision post itself, which I will more so take as legit than anything else, it came straight from the source, but there was no date given for the release of DLC4 in that post. So right now it's still up on the table. There's nothing that really gives us any indication or clue as to when, but I would maybe still think that it happens on the 28th or the 4th, just because of what we have up in the marketing window. We talked about that a couple of days ago already, but that said, with Blackout coming very soon for the beta, they're not going to want to try and release that too close to the beta so as to maybe lose sales on PlayStation 4, especially because the DLC 4 comes out first on PlayStation 4, plus Blackout also has that initial exclusivity where it starts out on PlayStation 4 as well. So my guess is that they probably still want to have two weeks in between that, let the hype for DLC 4 happen, then die down a little bit in a week after that, we start to prep for Blackout's beta, but I could be wrong. But again, the 28th to the 4th is definitely a time of reference you want to keep in mind for that, just again because of how things logically come up. But the one thing that I also will say is that we can probably start to expect more information coming very, very soon here. As I mentioned in passing, Activision's blog post was something that was scheduled to go live, but instead went live a little earlier. So that said, it was something that was probably scheduled to go live maybe next week at some point. Coming from a slight journalism background myself, I can't imagine that the blog post was set to go live any more than a week after whenever it was actually written. So in that sense, if they were trying to schedule it for today, I'd maybe guess that next Tuesday or Thursday is whenever we'd end up seeing that blog post normally go live. So that said, I can't imagine that it's something they wait 10 to 14 days after writing it and uploading it to the site for it to publish out. So my guess is that maybe in the next few days here, starting maybe even next Tuesday, we get some information relating to DLC4, an official trailer or release date, some information on multiplayer, whatever it may be, I would expect that kind of stuff to start coming out around that point. So that's just my guess on that. But again, with it being something scheduled, it would make the most logical sense in my mind. But that said, I think that's where we're gonna wrap it up. I found this incredibly interesting, not only to hear about the zombie stuff, cause it sounds super cool, but it also gets me more hyped up about when we can expect to see some stuff for DLC 4. As you guys probably know, I'm still very much so enjoying World War 2. Hopefully you guys are as well. Even though we are now just T minus two months away from Black Ops 4's launch, it is something that's still even this far into the life cycle, I'm still very much so enjoying the game. So I'm looking forward to DLC 4. I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of this leaked post from Activision's blog? Are you guys looking forward to what we saw with zombies out of that and anything you might 
might be looking forward to with multiplayer, feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as well. But that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like down below. If you guys also want to stay up to date with all things Call of Duty World War 2 and Black Ops 4 once the time comes, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. We'll keep you guys up to date with all things information, news, best class setups, tips, tricks, updates, all that good stuff. We got you covered here up on the channel. So if any of that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. Practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, that link is down there in the description below. And also if you guys want to follow me over on Instagram, a little more active over there now. So if you guys want to follow on that front as well, feel free to. But all that said and out of the way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm excited for DLC 4. I can't wait for more information. Hopefully you guys are as well. And until next time, thanks for watching. Take care and peace.